Night four in Omaha in the College World Series for Mississippi State and Virginia win tonight and put yourself in the bracket driver's seat. Make life easier for yourself. Get a W this evening. 318 average, nine homers, and 351 in the tournament. That breaking ball was hanging. He hits it in the center field. Geloff will step on third. And a couple of singles in the first put the Hoos up one to nothing. Didn't waste any time, did he there, KP? Try to get a curveball for a strike. And Kyle beat him to the punch. Gets jammed a bit. Helmet, you'll see that often with Kyle in this tournament. Runner at second base, he can smell an RBI. Gets one right there. Well, they capitalized the first time that they got the runner to second with a sacrifice. And here's Chris Newell for the first time. And they're going to do it again. He goes into the gap in left center. This one heads towards the wall where it's cut off by Cumbest. And twice the sacrifice has paid off. Newell first pitch swing, 2-0 Virginia. Zach Geloff, nine homers on the season, 40 runs batted in. That's a fair ball down the line. Scoring from second is Newell. And Geloff is two for two with a single and a double. It's 3-0 Cavaliers. Really interesting, this defensive positioning this inning with runner at second. Look how far he is from the bag. We illustrated earlier in the first inning how close he was on the line, especially with McLeod pitching. A lot of ground balls hit that way. Would have been just a step and a catch, not even a dive. We would have stayed where he was in the first inning. Instead, trading places is a theme of this bottom half of the second inning for Virginia. O'Connor came into the season thinking they were going to be really good. One, two, right back up the middle. And here comes Geloff around third. Jordan's throw cut off for nothing. Cotier delivers. And these have been rockets off the bat of Virginia's bats. One in the first, now three in the second. And Virginia has chased Christian McLeod just four outs into this. Well, that was the fall of 19, and now a star for Virginia's baseball team. 3-1. And a little blooper, the third baseman right at the line makes the play. And oh my goodness, he goes over into the camera well, holds on to the ball, and thankfully it looks like Cameron James is okay. Let's hope. Watch James and listen to the ovation. What a play from the third baseman. That railing slippery because of the rain. Standing ovation. That's right. Get up. And that ball is drilled to right field, and it is deep, and Teal goes back, looks up, it's gone. A two-run home run. Kellum Clark, Mississippi State off the mat. The first hit allowed from Griff McGarry, and it's 4-2 now, Virginia. Fourth of the year for Kellum Clark, and he's arguably got the hardest balls hit tonight for Mississippi State. Wanted to get ahead, 0-1 right there. Instead, he beat him to a fastball. To the spot, first pitch. As soon as he hit it, he knew it. Cut the deficit in half right now, 4-2. And this has become now a wake-up call for the fans here from Mississippi State. But McGarry goes seven in a third, punches out eight, gives up just the one hit, and as it stands right now, he's in line for the win. Which would be his first of the year. And this one's a left center going over there is Newell, and he is not going to get it. It's over his head. It goes to the wall. Hatcher will round Jordan's right, but now we get a rundown, and there's nobody at second base, and he gets back safely. Rowdy Jordan put his head down, and he was determined to get to third base. When he looked up, Hatcher was standing there, and because both Kent and Cartier had went to be cut off, man, there was nobody at second to get the out. You have to be on or past the base when Newell is going to make the play or not. That's why Jordan right there is wondering what's going on. Fortunately, no one at second base. 
Don't give him anything good to hit. He did, and that one is driven to right, and it is deep, and it is gone! Tanner Allen, a three-run home run. Mississippi State, five runs in the inning, and now lead it five to four. What a comeback. Allen's 11th, the second pitch from Shock into the bullpen. Comeback complete for the Dogs. And two on. The first pitch, that's through, that's in the hole. That's going to bring in Hancock. He scores 6-4, Mississippi State. First pitch swinging, Scotty DeBrule at a big tack-on run. Mississippi State giving Virginia a little bit of their own medicine. We saw this early on in the second inning. Runners at first and second just moving them around. Now it's Mississippi State doing it. Two and one to Newell. Popped up left field and Skinner is going to have to keep going back. It's carrying. Oh, he jumped and it is over the wall. That's a home run for Chris Newell. And the wind is blowing right to left and it got caught up in it. Newell's fourth and it's a one run game. This is a great view right here. I don't think even with a good vertical jump, he was going to get it. He ended up jumping almost horizontally because he ran so far. But just like that, Virginia within a run. There Do it is. So, and that's it. What a weapon land in Sims. What a comeback for Hale State. They get six runs and win 6-5. And now enjoy a few days off.